Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of CAD 101. In this episode, I will demonstrate the use of some of the modifying commands that are present in AutoCAD. The first command that I'll show you is the move command. So I'm going to go ahead to draw a line. If I want to move this line, all I would have to do is to click the move command. Once I've clicked the move command, if you notice the cursor has changed from the default state, I'm going to click the line, then press enter. Then click where I want the, the line to be moved from, then move the line and that's it. Let's say I have drawn a shape and I want to move the entire shape. I would click on move, then it says select objects. You can select the objects individually or you can just click and drag across then press enter then it's asking you to specify the base point that is the point where you want the moving to take place from let's just select here for now and then the entire drawing is moved there's another command that is called the copy it it acts like move but it will just create a duplicate rather than just moving the entire shape so i'm going to click copy then click all the lines that i want to be copied then i press enter once i've pressed enter i select my base point and now the object is being duplicated there's another command that is called mirror so let's say i want the exact replica of this object but i want it flipped i'm going to select mirror then it select the objects then i press enter then it is asking me for the first point of the mirror line and let me show you I click click anywhere we will have to click on the plane that i want the mirroring to take place so if i want the mirroring to take on a take place on a vertical plane i draw a vertical line now it is flipped horizontally so it's a horizontal flip because i've drawn a vertical line and if i want a vertical flip then i have to draw a horizontal line so i'm going to click on mirror and for some of these commands you can select the object first then select mirror then you will just proceed to the next step uh, you click so you have to pay attention to the plane that you are mirroring in right if you want to flip it left to right or north to south all right so that's it for mirroring now let's say i want to let's say i've drawn a line intersecting another line and i want to delete only a portion of this line i'll use the trim command so i'm going to click trim then i'm going to press enter and then i'm going to click the portion that i don't want then i press enter and that's it let me show you why i clicked enter after clicking the command initially i could have just clicked trim and then follow the instructions now it is asking me to trim well it's working your autocad may not be the 2021 version that i'm using now and you may have difficulties trimming so i, I want just watch again i'm pressing trim then i press enter then the instructions should change in your command line then i'm going to click with the, up the places that i don't want right in the older autocad you cannot trim an object if it's not crossing or intersecting another this is meeting at a point but i wouldn't call this an intersection this is an intersection so i can trim this piece or this piece i cannot trim here the new autocad treats trim as erase in that in this case all right there's another command alternative to trim that is called extend so let's say i have a line here and i have another line here and i want this line to meet this line you will click extend then you press enter then you click on the line and to extend it to the first line right remember after you click this command you press enter or it won't work how you want it to work you have to follow another set of commands for it to work more on that later 
I'll have to demonstrate that on an older version of the software. Uh, then you have another command that is called fillet, and I'm going to demonstrate it here. Now, if you want this to be a curve rather than having a straight edge, you can use the fillet command. Once you click the fillet command, you have to specify, you have some options. You say, it says select first object, then you press enter, select second object. Uh, let me go ahead. I think I did something wrong here. Select first object, select second object. Or sh now, by default, the fillet is set to a certain radius. So we need to change that radius. So I'm going to click fillet. Then rather than doing anything else, I'm going to press R. If you look in the command line, you have undo polyline radius trim multiple. I'm going to select R, press R, then press enter. Now it's asking you to select the radius or specify the radius. I'm going to use, I'm going to use about four as my radius. I'm going to press four, then press enter. Then once I've done that, I can now click the first line, click the second line, and you have a curve. Well, you have another command. If you drop down fillet, you'll have chamfer. It works like fillet, but you will not get a round edge. You'd get what you call a chamfered edge. Now, you can select D, enter, press D, enter. It's asking you for the first chamfer distance. You can press 4, enter, second chamfer distance. Then you press, let's say, a larger number or a smaller number, 2. Then you press enter. Now you are, you are going to select the first chamfer line, which will obey the first chamfer distance. Second chamfer line, that will obey the second chamfer distance. And you will see it right here. Now the first and the second distance can be the same. It depends on what you want. There is, I'm going to show you the final command for now. I'm going to show you two more rather. All right, let's say I have a parallel line here, a line here, sorry, and you want a parallel line. You can use the offset command. Once you click the offset command, you can, it's asking you to specify the distance that you want the parallel line to be. I'm going to select six, then press enter. Type six, then press enter. You are now supposed to click on the line and then click in the direction that you want the line to be offset. So you're going to create an offset, a new line. I want it to go to the north. I click the north. The command is still active, so you can click and offset as much lines as you want. All of them will abide by the same offset distance. Now, if you click offset again, and this happens for most of the commands, if you notice, it is asking you for an offset distance. It is suggesting the last one that you used. If you want this suggestion to stay, you press enter. If you want to change it, you have to press the new, type in the new distance. Now, the offset also works not for only one line. Let me show you something. I click offset again. I'm going to change my distance to about two this time. This shape can be offset. I'm going to offset everything inside. Right, and then you can go ahead and the trim and the extend as the need arises. This can also be done to a circle. Let me do it to a circle. I'm going to draw the circle, and I'm going to offset the circle. I want going. To, I'm going to keep the two can offset inside, I can offset outside. Now, there are some more modifying tools, but toolbars or commands that can be used. I'll try to demonstrate those in future videos. You can go through the commands and see what they do. There are some more here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share the knowledge. Have a good day.